The Senior Source is brought to you by Synergy Home Care, Intrepid Home Health, and Southeast Texas Cardiology Associates. We hear a lot about breast cancer, but it's actually lung cancer that is the deadliest cancer. Today, we hear from a group of strong, powerful women in the fight of their lives. Michelle Bowden shares today's senior source. Looking at these women, you'd never know. I'm 69 years old and I was diagnosed in October of 14. I'm Doris Castevens, age 60. These are the faces of lung cancer. I'm Paige Black, I'm 47. And I'm 41 and I was diagnosed in July of 2017. None of them smoke. The youngest is just 41 and they're all being treated at CMC for stage four lung cancer. Getting, you know, a terminal diagnosis, that was, that was very over, overwhelming. So when they said it, we just thought, that's crazy. I didn't really know anything about lung cancer. In fact, 19% of women diagnosed with lung cancer in the U.S. are non-smokers. When I would tell people I had lung cancer, they, were, they said, well, you're the healthiest person we know. But then they say, I didn't know you smoked. Linda, a grandmother and artist who races Corvettes, got her diagnosis from her husband, a radiologist, after she started coughing one weekend. And so our date night, 10 o'clock Saturday night, we're in his office getting a chest film. And I see him reading the film and he's white. And he said, there's a tumor in your lung. It doesn't look good. To be told that you have stage four cancer, any type of cancer is devastating. There is no cure, but their doctor says there is hope. Constantly new treatments on the market. We would have had this disease seven years ago. None of us would have had the fighting chance that we have right now. Still, they say there is a long way to go. This is one of those cancers no one talks about. There's still a false stigma, and yet lung cancer is the deadliest cancer. Lung cancer causes more cancer-related deaths than breast cancer, prostate, colon, rectal, and pancreas combined. These women know they only have a finite time left, so they're making the most of their time. And I'm going to enjoy every bit of it that I can. I want my grandchildren to remember me. I worry about that a lot. And I just, you know, I just won't give up. And I'm, I'm not going to be the sick lady with lung cancer. You may have noticed the women were all wearing white. That's because white is the color for lung cancer awareness. They say that's part of the problem. Most people don't know that. And that there needs to be more awareness in general when it comes to lung cancer.